Do you play FC24 on the PC and want to boost your FPS, fix your lag and stutters? Well, you've clicked on the right video, so let's jump straight into it. So, as you can see on screen right now, we're on the lovely menus of FC24, and you're probably wondering, where is the setting? You want to go next to the logo of FC24, and you see the cog wheel. Click the cog wheel and head to settings like so. Once you're here, you want to go to game settings, and once you're here, press left bumper or L1 to go to the display configuration. This is basically all the settings things for resolution how high or low your game should be how to sort out your frame rate etc so let's dive right into it so resolution 1920 by 1080 i use this because my monitor is 1920 by 1080 if you don't know your monitor resolution please check out display configurations on your windows it should come up there if you do know your resolution for your monitor and it's 1920 by 1080 then please use this some people that are using smaller monitors please i'd recommend you guys using 1280 by 720 because this is much more smoother than the usual 1920 by 1080 but that's if you have a laptop or, or a smaller monitor just before i continue all my specs for my pc is on screen right now if you guys have a similar build to me and are having issues please contact me on discord it's wadger link is down below in the description moving on to the next one we have is my display mode kind of moved between full screen and windowed borderless if you guys are struggling with some fps issues and i highly recommend you guys go on windowed 1280 by 720 or full screen full screen in fact doesn't actually interfere with the background stuff of your computer because it just focuses on what's on screen moving on to the refresh rate you guys do not see 60 hertz 90 hertz 120 hertz or 144 hertz and as you can see this comes up and all you want to do, what you want to do once you're on Windows, type in display settings and click this. Once you're here, you can see I've got two monitors. One of them is in fact 60 hertz. I'll show you here. So this is 60 hertz, my right monitor. For my left monitor, which is the main monitor, my main monitor in the middle. This one is in fact 144 hertz. As you can see, 143.98. If your main monitor has more than 60 hertz, make sure you guys change your settings here. When I first got this monitor, it was in fact capped to 120. And if that doesn't work, what you want to do is head to change resolution on your NVIDIA control panel. And as you can see, it says refresh rate. You want to make sure it's 144 hertz or the highest refresh rate that your monitor can handle. Next one is the frame rate. Now the frame rate, it's a bit of a weird one. If you're struggling with frames, if you have 60 hertz, make sure you cap it to 60. If you have 100 hertz, make sure you cap it to about 120 if you have like 75 hertz make sure you cap it to around 90 so then you can make sure that your game is constantly smooth because of the fact that you're hurt you have more frames than your hertz can manage but i go with no limit fps because of the fact that i have a refresh rate of 144 hertz and my computer is capable to do that the next one we have is vsync or virtual sync and that is on this basically locks my refresh rate for the game to make maximize just in general the smoothness of this game is because of vsync i'll be honest that's just how it is moving on to to the dynamic resolution scale now this is where you could change the output resolution to make it more better i guess or improve i did use this on my laptop and it made a difference because obviously it's a smaller monitor or a smaller screen allows less stutter and less lag when it comes to on screen stuff so there's a lot going on but this will help scale it and improve the performance as much as possible so if you do have a smaller monitor i highly recommend you guys turn this on if you don't then don't bother moving on to the cutscene quality obviously last year we had the cutscene issue where all the cutscenes were just basically laggy and choppy if you are capable of 60 frames make sure you to put it as full frame rate as possible if you guys are that diehard career mode player or clubs player make sure you have it full but if you guys don't really care or not really fussed about celebrations or cutscenes before game just leave it to half you don't really need it moving on to strand based hair i don't know why it's on but i tend to keep this off because of the fact that it's just hair moving around if you want to make it the best possible graphics keep it on sadly i do not have hair so i keep it off make sure you guys turn this off if you guys want to make sure make the most of your fps and the final three here as you can see it's all on ultra but if you guys don't really care or haven't got the power to process this game due to your cpu make sure you guys play this rendering quality medium brass to low and crowd to low because the frames itself will help build your quality rendering quality more so the, so the quality of your image of the game is good it's not as amazing as high or insane like ultra it's just in that good range it's like the console you know what i mean and then when you go to high it's more of the pc top end ultra you're insane but for frame rate make sure this is how it is right now because you want to maximize your most amount of frames on this game especially if you're struggling to get even 60 fps on this game moving on to the grass who cares about grass and finally the crowd who cares about cutouts so make sure this is all it is how it is the reason why i keep on ultra though is because i am 
capable of doing it plus it's good for video right so i want to make sure that i have the best video possible quality wise for you guys when you guys watch this so yeah that's why i keep it how it is how it is sometimes i do filter through these settings depending if a game's actually lagging or stuttering i change these settings to what i have recommended now you think the video is done there well you, uh, you're completely wrong because we're gonna now turn to visual and as you can see visual is basically what's on screen and just extra stuff that you don't really need on this game and we're, we're gonna dive right into visual visual play style plus overhead indicators so these things are the little icons that you get on top of your players heads or evolutions or anything like that what you want to do is turn this off because it's not ideal and it's just extra frames that you don't really need moving on to the second last setting on this game and that is hyper motion insight overlays now this is those massive motions that you get for when you get a shot on shots or like those those like possession boards on the floor those extra things you don't really need that i have it turned on once again because i want to make sure that i record the best quality video but make sure this is off because you don't really need this at all plus it's just an extra thing that's just hogging so much frames in game for your gameplay that's why you're stuttering that's why you're lagging this is literally the main reason why your game is running like a schmuck because the extra high promotion insight overlays when it comes to gameplays is just not fun please make sure i highly recommend you guys turn this off and finally you guys can go through all these bits if you guys want to and sort out your own visual i guess style but yeah that has been so that's how you boost your fps on fc24 comment down below if you guys are still struggling with frames or lag or stutter i'm happy to help like i said if you guys need to contact me contact me on my discord link is down below or just add me which is literally just waja and just message me like hey i need help and i'll try my best as much as possible to get back to you have a wonderful rest of the day subscribe if you haven't already take care and peace